Fire is my only love. Shut up! Cartoons! Oh man, oh man, oh man. I just saw something that blew my mind. I can't believe that it actually is actually in this game. I told you this is going to be a bad week for Dragon Age Veilguard. Why? Because since Monday, everyone's been bashing this game and you got the pro side bigging up this game. It's a big friggin' DEI battle with a bunch of incels telling you not to buy this game or to buy this game. So what's the deal with it this time? There's literally speech in this game where you get punished for misgendering somebody and then you have to go through some long dialogue speech option of why it's bad to misgender use bad pronouns or should you apologize should you not apologize it's literally the dumbest thing i've ever seen i don't know why this actually belongs in the game when we're talking about dragon age the years of when dragons and magic existed. First thing I want to say though is Nev Gallus is pretty damn hot. You know how this game has an option where you could romance companions? I'm picking Nev Gallus to romance and I'm going to pick all the right dialogue options to get in her pants. But first, here's the video clip. Right there you see Nev Gallus, the hottest one out of all the bunch. But now, let's listen to this dialogue and react to it. Pounding that snake's nose, she's still holding the ruby in her other hand. Maker's panties, I was so proud. Oh, uh, um... Ah, shit. They, they're still holding it, sorry. Oh my god, so she said something earlier about she's still holding the ruby in her hand, Maker's panties, and then that other friggin' girl, Balara, is like, wait, oh, oh, uh, sorry, and then she's like, oh, crap, they, them, they're holding the ruby. This is the most stupidest thing I've ever seen in my life. Let's watch it again, shall we? Pounding that snake's nose, she's still holding the ruby in her other hand. Maker's panties, I was so proud. Oh, uh, um... Ah, shit. They, they're still holding it. Sorry. Like, this is what our games have gotten to. What am I looking at? What am I even reading? What am I watching? Why do I care? Give me a friggin' sword in one hand. Give me a friggin' uh, gothic shield in the left hand. Let me put on a breastplate, put on some goddamn cool amulets and rings that give me magic power, like friggin' Luis Pereira, and go around slaying demons. I don't want to sit in a stupid tavern with some friggin' stupid dragon-like character that friggin' Prince of Fallen's whacking off to right now with some other idiot telling me, getting mad at me because I misgendered. Instead of saying they, them, I said she. I don't care, you stupid pricks. Make a good game that's all I want continue on the clip what are you doing pulling a barve oh okay a barve tradition in the Lords of Fortune from one of our old members barve good guy but like most of us his plans went sideways a lot bad blood among your crews not good for morale but there's not always time for big drawn-out apologies so when one of us screws up and we know we've screwed up we do a quick ten to put it right pulling a barve that is the dumbest thing I have ever heard of. Did you just hear what she said? She is friggin' literally doing 10 push-ups to punish herself because she misgendered some character, called it a she, when it was supposed to be a they, them, and she's saying, oh, it's, we're pulling a bar of people. This is what we've gotten to. They are literally indoctrinating all the people and all the kids and teenagers that are gonna play this game, and I don't wanna hear this crap that this is a mature 18 game, when you got games like Call of Duty, which is also friggin' mature 18, being played by eight-year-olds. You really don't think eight-year-olds and teenagers are gonna play this game? You're damn right they will. And at the same time, they're friggin' getting indoctrinated your kid's gonna play this game see that this character nev gallus misgendered someone and then have to do 10 push-ups to correct herself because she misgendered someone and pulling a bar this is what's going in your kid's head people this is what they're putting in our video games people it's the hidden dei checklist that they need to follow why because the mass media who owns hollywood who owns everything they want this pushed in there so your kids grow up like do docile cucks let's continue on uh, the Lords of Fortune have Tarsh's back. Oh, Tarsh isn't the first non-binary member of the Lords. Really? Oh my god, did I really just see the word named non-binary in a Dragon Age game? This game is supposed to be set in place before, like, 10,000 BC when dragons and magic existed. Someone in my comments section said to me, Oh, you're acting like dragons and magic actually existed. They did! 
I think they did. That's my opinion. I think all that stuff still exists, by the way, but it's hidden from you because you're busy there watching TikTok like a cock when all the real people that own this world are doing rituals and magic and all this DMT stuff, talking to different entities. We'll talk about that in another video, you stupid prick. But at the same time, literally just said, oh my God, non-binary. Let's watch that again, shall we? I'm glad the Lords of Fortune have Tarsh's back. Oh, Tarsh isn't the first non-binary member of the Lords. Really? First non-binary member. She's not the first non-binary. Oh, see, we're just all helpful. We all just want to get everyone in together and just be helpful. La di da, sunshine and lollipops, West Coast California cocks getting there with their Starbucks cafe latte nonstop. It's stupid. Why am I having a conversation about non-binary and pronouns and gender? I just want the controller and hit the attack button on a dragon and see if I can beat it, knowing what its resistance is, and then using that same goddamn magic spell with my companion to get the most damage we're gonna hack and slash stagger and then hack and slash some more that's all i want to do it was a little before your time but horlicks was one of ours huh bastard looked better than i did in a dress or pants and out of them too oh my god bastard looked better than i did in a dress or pants and out of them too. Really? Is that what we're doing now? We're talking about friggin' he, she's, and they, thems wearing dresses and or pants. We're doing the whole gender swap. This is pathetic. This is what's wrong with this game. But at the same time, I think the battle mechanic's good. See this battle fighting system you see here? I think that's actually pretty damn good. But everything else in the game sucks. It's probably going to be too linear. It's probably going to be too easy. You have dumb dialogue about crap you don't care about. You have a stupid storyline. And you have a bad enemy design. That's what's bad about this game. Friggin' non-binary member and then looks good it, it, with pants or with a dress and out of them that's what we're gonna have in our games nowadays i don't care mm. any reason you can't just apologize sometimes people say oops sorry and hope that fixes it but they just want to get the whole thing over with trust me i know but pulling a barb you sweat a little makes you think about it a little more Shows the other person you mean it. What if they mean it when they say they're sorry, though? And that's the other reason. Some people mess up and get all dramatic. They make it about them. Oh, you know, I didn't mean it right. I'd never do that on purpose. They feel so bad about it that it's on everyone else to smooth it over and make them feel better. Oh, oh, okay, yes, some people might do that. Pulling a barb puts it on the person who screwed up. They made the mess, they fix it, done. It, it's just so pathetic. How about pulling a barf that our goddamn friggin' inflation prices are up the yin yang and we can't even afford to live? How about pulling a barf that rent prices are going through the roof and we can't even afford money anymore to live properly? We have people, homeless people, and old people living in sheds. How about pulling a barf that when you go to the goddamn grocery store, prices are so scary and so increased that you're literally limiting your own food now because it's gonna be too much money? How about pulling a barf on everything else? No, we're gonna pull a barf and do 10 push-ups because we accidentally misgendered a, sh a they them with she is that what we're dealing with at what extent i get it that you have your mis your gender pronouns but at what extent do i have to participate in your friggin clown world gender pronoun crap what if i don't want to call you a she what if i don't want to call you a they them what if i don't want to do that will i have to pull a barb in the middle of the goddamn sidewalk doing 10 goddamn push-ups pathetic shut up i'm sick of it i'm sick of this crap in video games now. Now, you had a chance to make a good game. You had all the opportunity you had to make a nice, good reboot of a nice Dragon Age Veil Guard after all these years to make it good. Instead, you put it with your DEI crap in this and ruined the whole goddamn thing. Look at these screenshots. Look at this. Look at this right. Look what it says right here. Rook says, take a long, hard look in it, kid. It'll always show the face of a hero who can get it done. Look what it says here in purple, the hint. Establishes transgender identity and unlocks new dialogue options in future conversations. So that means they're trying to basically push it there where, oh yeah, by unlocking the transgender identity, now you get to do more side quests. Oh, that's a good thing. Now you get to do more side quests, more dialogue options. You get to learn more about what they do in the stupid Dragon Age. It's just stupid. What else screenshot we have? Look at this. Everyone all these um 
All of these uh, uh, journalist sites, CGM, 5 out of 5, 5 out of 5, 10, 10, 10, 10, 9.5, 9, 9, 9, 9 8.5, 8, 4, 4, 3, 3. They're giving this crazy scheme such a high score. Battle mechanic might be good, but everything else is complete trash in this stupid game. I had it. I've had it with everything. All I care about in this game is Nev Gallus and how good she looks. 